Today's presentation is about overland flow and infiltration, parts of the water cycle. You can see on the right here, this is a lake that has formed uh, close to where I live and it's a result of saturated soils and groundwater flooding. So today we're looking at the process by which water evaporates from the oceans, condenses in the atmosphere, is transferred over the land, falls as rain, and then we get surface runoff or overland flow. And we're looking at the two types of overland flow that exist. Overland flow, also known as surface runoff, can occur in two main conditions. Firstly, the ground becomes saturated, every pore space is filled, no more water can infiltrate, and so you see a flow of water on the ground surface. Secondly, you get the rate of rainfall greatly exceeds the rate at which water can move into the land surface, into the soil surface. And when that happens, you get overland flow. You can see a severe storm here over the city. Let's look at the first situation, saturated overland flow. Here you can see a soil, and within that soil, every pore space is filled with water, indicated by this blue and background colour. This means that when more rain falls, there's simply nowhere for that water to go into the soil, and therefore it starts to form a flow over the surface. This is even more dramatic where the surface of the land is sloped. So on steeper angle slopes, you rapidly get um, saturated overland flow and that water runs straight into the river tunnels and often leads to flooding. Saturated overland flow is common where there's been a long period of heavy rain. In heavy rainfall, the groundwater store will fill and then above that, the soil store will fill. So the water table is effectively at the ground surface. So if the antecedent soil moisture, this is the soil moisture before it starts to rain, is high, then any more rain will simply not be able to move into those stores and so will become part of the surface water flows. This is a problem in the UK in winter and early spring. Um, you can see here in East Anglia, we've got saturated uh, soil here, we've got overland flow occurring here, we've got the creation of a large lake occurring in the fens. The second situation is infiltration excess overland flow. This is where the rate of precipitation input greatly exceeds the rate at which the soil, the water can move into the soil. Water moving into the soil there is called infiltration. And that process typically occurs around 3 to 12 millimetres per hour. So if you have very intense rainfall, as often happens in deserts, in dry environments, you, you don't get infiltration occurring. The input of rain is so sudden and the storms are so sudden that the water will simply run off. And that's why we get flash flooding in deserts, why wadis, the dry river valleys in the river, in the rivers in the desert, in the Sahara, suddenly fill with water because water can't move into the soil fast enough, even though there are empty pore spaces available. That is called infiltration excess overland flow. Study this question. Study figure four, shown here. Precipitation totals across mainland USA in August 2016. Suggest how variations in precipitation totals will influence runoff processes in the water cycle. So we're thinking about what we've just been studying, saturated overland flow, runoff, runoff processes, that's what that should trigger. Study this diagram and then have a quick look at the answer on the next slide. So when you're faced with a map like this, always look for the contrast and think about the uh, runoff. This is giving you total rainfall and precipitation here in the, in the key. So we can see in the Gulf states, there's the Gulf of Mexico and Florida, we can see very high values. Here, because the large input, you'd expect saturated overland flow to be taking place. However, in areas where we have lower rainfall totals, but we know there are deserts here like in Arizona and Utah, there you'd expect the other kind of overland flow to occur, which would be infiltration excess overland flow. Thank you so much for watching.